No, 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 no. <gasps> Tonight, I'm gonna be reacting to Orphan for the very first time. I kind of dressed up for the occasion. Uh, I'm like a puppet, as you can tell. Um, yeah, so I haven't seen this. I've heard things about it. I don't know what's true, what's not. Uh, this is a horror. I'm recording this very late. It's like half 11. I just got home from work and I wanted to get this done. So yeah, it's Friday. Halloween week is continuing on the channel. Tomorrow is Halloween itself and I'm gonna have a full Slender the Arrival playthrough up on the channel along with my reaction to Slender Man the movie. But yeah, today, tonight, I will be reacting to The Orphan for the very first time. I don't know why I'm doing this so late and I'm doing it by myself. I'm insane. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait to check this out. I always support the official release on the movie. You can buy it on, any, on lots of different stores, the Microsoft Store, YouTube, and stuff like that. Or it's for me, it's available on Netflix. Uh, so yeah, I'm ready to jump into this. I don't know why I'm doing it so late, but I am. If I feel, if it comes off as I'm a little bit tired in the video, I do apologize for that. But I'm going to be getting straight into it. So let's go. Oh shit, is that Norma, Norma Bates? <laughs> We're gonna name her Jessica. Jessica? Okay. I just want to quickly add, if you've not seen the show Bates Motel, I highly recommend it. She is amazing in it. It's a great creepy show. You won't regret watching it, trust me. Oh shit. Oh Oh, damn it, that's a lot of blood. What, what are you doing? I'm so sorry for your loss. What? Your baby's dead. No, oh, no. Oh. oh, shit. This is, is this a nightmare? Because, like, the way it's shot, it seems like it's all a dream or something. Congratulations, Mrs. Coleman. It's a girl. Oh, what the fuck? Well, I knew it was a nightmare. <laughs> Man, that was crazy. What a way to start your movie. Holy shit. So it really happened. Obviously not to that extreme. I thought it would be nice to have a bottle handy. In case we'd guess. But you didn't go in. So she had a drinking problem in the past. And she quit. You are strong. You got this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, man, I honestly thought she was going to get, like, collide with that and the kid was going to die. I was not ready. Holy shit. Hmm. <laughs> Man, already the amount of emotion, the character, like, it's just already really powerful and I'm really enjoying it and really enjoying, I'm sorry I don't know the actress's name that plays the Norma from Base Motel, I don't know her name, but she's already doing a really good performance and I'm really enjoying it. Wow. <laughs> Shit. I'm feeling emotions I did not think I'd feel watching this movie. My name is Esther. What's yours? Hello, Esther. John. Well, you two have a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> but she knows exactly what to say to get adopted. <laughs> Sometimes difficult to place them. The family that brought her to America, 
died in a house fire. A fire? My God. Esther barely got out. She's been through a lot. She really did seem to open up with us. I thought she more than opened up with you. You seem to have made quite a connection. It's like, damn, this is meant to have me like a horror thriller type movie, so this ain't gonna end well. So as happy as I am that they're adopting someone, I'm kind of worried for him at the same time, you know? <laughs> but I'll just be happy for them right now. Can she hear? A little. Uh, she was born almost completely deaf. That just allows her to hear enough to read lips. Aww. playing by the pond like nothing ever happened. She doesn't remember anything, does she? Huh? she Wait, what? What happened at the pond? What happened? We're scared of the lightning. Oh, oh. come in. I want to sleep next to Daddy. Don't, don't, don't shoot the bird. Don't. Now, come on. Why would you do that? Oh, man. What did you think was gonna happen? Did you kill it? Just a paintball. I didn't think it hurt him. Oh no 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 no. Put it out of its misery. It's in pain, and it's your responsibility. It was just an accident. If you walk away now, it'll starve to death. Is that what you want? Oh. No. It's all right. It's in heaven now. That's so sad. What happened to her? She died while she was still in my tummy. And we scattered her ashes here. And as long as this plant grows, then part of her will be alive inside it. <laughs> mm. Time and place, people. Time and place. Three kids gonna be scattering around. I'm surprised no one's walked in yet. Buzzkill. <laughs> yep. Now they're gonna have to do the whole birds and the bees talk. <laughs> She's only been in the house like a week. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> and one, two, push. Oh shit. Oh. Our sister's got our back. So did she already know she already knew how to play, but she was pretending she didn't. You told me you didn't know how to play. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. You offered to teach me and I accepted. I think there could be something wrong with Esther. What? What? What do you mean? You told us that you never had any trouble with her. I didn't. But trouble does have a way of finding her. What kind of trouble? Two girls get into a fight, there she is. Someone gets caught stealing. There she is again. There is a boy 
who fell with a pair of scissors in his hand and accidentally stabbed himself through the jaw. Oh shit. Again. They have never found the person who did it. What are you suggesting here that she had anything to do with any of this? It's ridiculous. That a child could commit such crimes, it, it just flies in the face of everything I believe in. Well, yeah. She's come to take me away. Will you help me? And the the sister, the little sister, she just really wants to be helpful and have her big sister now like her. And she doesn't understand. Oh shit! Why would you be pointing the gun at her? And make her stop, Max. Go. No! 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 Oh no 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 <gasps> Why would she push her? Well now you're dead. Oh shit. Oh damn. Grab a foot and help me get her off the road. Now Yeah. Oh shit. Like she know the little kid knows how wrong it is, but she's so afraid and terrified. Oh man! What did you see? I saw you and Max in the treehouse. What else? Oh, Jesus! Find out that you're lying. I'll cut your hairless little prick off before you even figure out what it's for. Holy shit! Oh man! Yeah, I, I don't think they adopted the right person. I hope we can be friends. I'd like that. And she said everything she needed to hear. She's playing her. Esther is a perfect child. No issues. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. You got me. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Even though I was thinking something was going to happen. Um, this hurts. Like, they're literally both so terrified to say anything about her. I have a special surprise for you, Mommy. You do? I picked these flowers just for you. <gasps> Esther? Man, that hurt. I'm literally speechless. <sighs> oh my god. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh my god. This is making me so uneasy. It's nearly one in the morning. Why am I watching this? I'm having guests for dinner. Oh no, don't start drinking this way. This is exactly what she wants. She's not gonna do it. No, no, no. Oh, but the bottles are still there. They're gonna think you drank them. Oh no! Oh, for God's sake! Oh shit! And no one's seen this? No, 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 Oh man, this shit's breaking me, man. Oh shit, the mom idiot, dad. 
I'm... I'm warning you right now. She was still kicking when the doctor told me it was something called phantom fetal movement. For 16 days, I carried Stop. my dead baby inside me. Ask oh my god. I'm literally so speechless. This is so hard to watch. Don't fall for her. Seriously, the man's already questioning everything. All you have to do is tell the man. You don't have to go and get proof. You don't need any proof to get this. Oh man, they just need to communicate. Communicate. The only one that doesn't know anything is the dad. Institute is not an orphanage, it is a mental hospital. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, don't go up there. She's already up there. She had the key. She went up. You're going into a trap. Not the treehouse. Wait. What are you doing? Are you crazy? Oh shit. Is he really gonna get burned alive? Oh god. The whole treehouse is literally burning. Oh shit. He needs to jump onto a stick or something. Oh man, the second you fall, she's gonna finish you off. This is insane. Oh shit, what? Come on. Don't worry, they're going to have Oh my god. The little sister saved him in the last second. No, no. She really killed them? What did you do? Hey, what did you do to me, bitch? Oh shit. Oh shit. She has a knife. Uh, this isn't gonna end well. He's not even gonna find out before he just gets instantly killed. You like it? Was he drugged? Or is he just really tired? What? I really care about you, John. The way she talks is like. Well, she's going to be nine, ten. What the fuck? This is so weird, man. Is she gonna stab him? Oh shit! My God! Stop! Stop! Stop talking to me like I'm a child. Oh man, he just marked his own funeral. What? She has a rare hormone disorder. It's called hypopituitarism. It causes proportional dwarfism. She only looks like a child. According to our records, Lena Kramer was born in 1976. She's 33 years old. What? Steak. That's why she was saying, don't talk to me like a child? Does she have the scars? What? I don't know. What scars? Her neck. Oh shit, this is why she didn't want to go to the dentist. How does no one ever know what's that? Don't you have to take them out at some point? Oh shit! Oh shit. No, 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 no! 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 Oh. Fuck. He's the one that knew the shortest amount of time and died first. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Fuck you. I'm not your fucking mommy. <laughs> <laughs> no shot. Well, 
that was a movie and a half. Whew, that was literally insane. So yeah, everyone, I just finished watching The Orphan for the very first time and my heart is literally racing. It's really late. It's like past one in the morning, half one in the morning, whatever. It's really late anyway, right now. Um, and I'm, I'm actually more awake now than when I actually went to record the movie uh, because of how tense and how on, <laughs> on the edge of the sea I was during this whole movie. Uh, well, probably not from the start, but you know, later on when shit starts happening, I was literally just like so tense, especially in the final act uh, when Esther started killing people. And uh, the fact that she tried to seduce uh, the dad. And um, like that was crazy and weird. But like I didn't think the dad was actually going to do anything. So I was kind of like kind of more chill while watching it. I was just afraid he was going to instantly get stabbed there and then. Was more what I was thinking. But wow. Literally everyone's performance in this movie was literally amazing. The person that played Esther, um, like I said, I can't remember the name of the actress from Bates Motel, the one that plays, uh, um, yeah, Norman's ma. And <laughs> um, she literally done such an amazing job in this. And the kid actors, holy shit, were they awesome. So yeah, Esther is not a little child. She was, 32 33 she was in her 30s holy shit she fooled everyone <laughs> literally insane like i can't even recall what to bring up because like i was literally on the edge of my seat if during the reaction i was just like moving around too much i do apologize i was literally kind of just i was speechless for a lot of it i never knew what was going to happen next and I was very concerned for the little girl character. She was my favorite and uh, she was very likable. And I felt so bad that she was getting like so used by Esther. Like she just really wanted to have a big sister and to look up to her. And she was sticking up for her at the start and defending her. And then when she started happening and she started getting threatened and she was like so afraid to do anything. Same with the brother, Dylan, I think was his name. Like, you know, she went into his room and she literally had a blade to his throat and threatened his life if he said anything. And he actually wet himself. He was that terrified. Like, I felt so bad for everyone in this. The kids, the ma, they were all getting played by her. The only one that was so oblivious was the dad. Like, he was just seeing her as the innocent child. Because they just adopted her, so they wanted to give. He wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt. He wanted to really be there, like she was going through a lot. And then ultimately, in the end, he was the one that got played the most, because he was the only one that didn't make it out alive. He died, and as far as we know, the uh, the son survived. He did go into hospital, and um, but the way they were saying it, it made it seem like he was going to be okay, after all. But yeah, overall, this was a very <laughs> insane awesome movie really did enjoy it as hard as it was to watch some of the stuff because i just didn't like to see this family that went through a lot already and um, from the start of the movie they've already grieved and gone through so much stuff to just see them get to a place where they are ready to adopt and just all the terrible things that happened throughout the movie and the fact that the dad died by the end so they're not even complete or so much less complete and damaged by the end of this movie. It's really heartbreaking, but such a powerful, really well done, well acted, really great scenes also throughout the movie. It was just excellent and I really did enjoy it. And I'm really happy I did watch it, even though I'm probably gonna be awake for a good while longer. Cause like I said, I'm really awake right now. I'm just constantly thinking about the movie and just trying to like think of scenes that happened earlier on if, if there was any more hints or things that made it much more obvious that she wasn't a kid now that you think about uh, that well we were told <laughs> uh, so yeah overall 
The Orphan is a fantastic thriller horror type movie and it's definitely worth like recommending to friends and everything. I'm gonna be telling people I know this movie's a bit old so probably anyone I talked to probably have already seen it but if they didn't I'm definitely gonna be recommending this to people. It is awesome. So thank you all so much for watching this reaction and listening to my review. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And like I said, Halloween week is continuing on the channel. And uh, Halloween is tomorrow. And my full playthrough with my friend Dom for Irish Let's Play. We will be doing Slender the Arrival, the complete game. And then after that video is out, there will 